Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Cafecito time. Cafecito time. It's your boy Chingo Bling, my beautiful wife. Hey. <laughs> AKA Miss Her Apparel. AKA Mrs. Bling. AKA Mrs. Bling. Mrs. Bling. DJ producer Big Rob. Hey, everybody. Everybody, let's inhale the good stuff. Exhale the bad oh, stuff. Shit. Yeah. And you know why I said it like that? Because today's sponsor is twin candle co we have a collab the candle is going to be called cafecito time and read the label for everybody right above twin candle co uh, inhale the good exhale the bad yep it's right there on the candle so you can inhale that good scent and you could uh bring bring some of that cafecito my house time. just smells like coffee it smells so good it's actually a different one i think it is yeah because yeah, what, what is we have at home is called that was just for picture purposes this is actually the Damn, this time. Smells good dude. oh good that's a new one I'll, I'll tell you which one that is later but uh these are the, the cafecito time candles will be available uh next week so if you the only way you're going to find out where to buy it though is you have to be a part of the chingle bling newsletter so where do they sign up for that mm. Go to my website, chingobling.com. There will be a pop-up. And all you do is put your email and press enter, and we will not spam you. Yeah, there'll be a limited run of these. Uh, it's Jingo's favorite scent. This is what the studio smells like every time we record a show. So if you're the, in, a part of the Discord or the newsletter, you're going to find out where to buy them. Oh, yeah, we got to melt some So, Rob, you said there were some questions. Yes. You want to kick off with yeah. that? Yeah. So, uh, you know, there's tons of questions. And some of these we've probably talked about over the years, but you got to think, like, the shows are pretty big. I know sometimes with the lack of uh, companies willing to put their name behind the show or shows, uh, it might not feel that way. But a lot of people want to know how you guys met. That was in the RPT Discord. Man, we, oh, wow. the we done told this story about 58 times. You want to tell it, babe? <sighs> give, give them the short it's version. Like, I don't mind telling it, but I almost feel like don't don't y'all know all this? All Maybe they don't, babe. Not everybody listens. All right. So Dang. so the first so we the, just can't assume people. See, I mean, I don't know. I I, I just feel like we didn't told it fifty eight times. Uh, the first time, first time we had a uh, cross paths. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it was at this uh, legendary landmark, a very historic place in downtown Houston, known as Tope Bar. I totally tried to make a video out of it, and it just. It didn't. It oh, didn't. we tried to retell it, and we here we were. We literally tried to retell it. Like I was, so I had Joseph come out. I was like, I think people would really enjoy it because we get this question asked so much, yeah. right? So I said, why don't we have Joseph follow us? We literally drive to where we would go party, where we met, mm -hmm. and then where you gave, where we exchanged phone numbers and took this one picture that I've posted before of us together. You know what I'm saying? You guys uh, haven't told us on a podcast in like three years. Okay well, okay, well, let me break down some of the details. All right. So I was super new in my career, but thankfully, the those popping nightclubs that we all wanted to go to, like I was going to be there for free anyway. Yeah, I, was, I was probably gonna be. I was probably gonna be paying to get in, but like when the when the phone calls started coming in of like, yo, hey dude, how much would you charge? You know, the owner of T Town wants you for some Cinco de Mayo event, and you are gonna go on before this person. And I'm like, oh shit, I don't know, really, man, I don't want to charge them too much because I don't want them to say no. And they'd be like, okay, Coco Loco, and I'm like, bro, this is the spot where we go. And then it's like, bro, they want to book you at Tote Bar, and it's like I'm doing all the spots. <laughs> and that particular night, my uh, my boy who was kind of like my artist and hype man, uh, Stunner, and uh, he, we didn't we didn't know all the rules of performing, but he decided on his own. <laughs> he was pretty savage in life back then. Well, he's he, he did my mic cut out or my no, headphones? No, it's probably headphones. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, there I am. Something possessed him to to. <laughs> To try to get the club crunk and be like, everybody put your middle finger up right now, middle fingers up. And I'm like, okay, where's he going with this? And everybody, <laughs> middle finger up, middle finger up. Let me say, fuck security and fuck the bouncers. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished our set and I kind of sensed like, okay, we're up there still. And I'm like, um, what's going to happen when we get off? <laughs> so basically the bouncers like put him in a full Nelson, like caught him off guard, put him in a little full Nelson and shit where it's like, damn. <laughs> what you gonna do <laughs> yeah it's just pretty fucked up and uh and we're like hey man hold on dog that's my boy but they got like these big motherfuckers just holding everybody back and long story short we probably left thereafter i think i i met you right before i went on or right after i got on? no we were leaving we're already leaving but i thought i talked to you about the bar you did talk okay. to me about the bar and was that after the set or before before the set before the everything that happened right so i guess at that point 
at that point oh, i've always oh. been paparazzi so i've always had a she, camera on she had me. evidence oh. so i had evidence of what had happened because i was taking pictures so you could say you took a picture of blaine but you can't find the kanye picture that you took a picture with huh <laughs> yeah no that's two different people <laughs> I, I, forgot, I didn't have no camera back then she's the paparazzi go ahead oh yeah so i i was walking out but again i so my fr- I had just moved up back from College Station, and my I didn't know what was popping, right? And so my friend, who's our mutual friend of ours, said, "Oh, my friend Chingo Blink's gonna perform at T Town. Why don't you? Uh, I'm sorry, not T Town, Toke. Oh. Mm-hmm. He's like, why don't you come by? And I was like, okay. I was like, that's what's up. I was like, oh, I didn't know he was performing. Like I I thought he was going to be there. I didn't know he was gonna be performing. So I was like, yeah, I'll go. So it was my sister, my cousin, and myself. All three of us were together. And so I was just kind of new, to, back to Houston, just kind of trying to get the hang of things. So now I'm leaving because I was like, this got really weird because now there's fighting. Now it, it broke, that caused more chaos to, where it like encouraged other people to start mm. kind of getting hyped and wanting to fight. Mm. So I said, I'm bouncing. I just came from living in College Station where there was this, none, of this. This, none of this happens right so we're going boogie. to the exactly you know <laughs> so partying was a lot different none of that was happening so i was like okay it's time for me to exit you know so i'm leaving and he's also leaving and i said oh yeah i said so i totally have pictures of everything that happened he goes what i need that camera <laughs> and it's a disposable camera <laughs> but that's that. what that was back then okay I, guys I need, that, I need those negatives yeah right there wasn't like, i'm gonna take it to fox photo right now like you know those <laughs> legit cameras were like really expensive still you know what i'm saying like the newer digital ones were like still in the yeah. good 800 i mean nine. disposable was plus, disposable was still the thing plus like digital cameras back then like you were lucky if you had oh my god you have a three megapixel yeah true you gotta remember bro. yeah so you, this is 2002 you gotta remember yeah, that. i mean camcorders everything was different. yeah so it was so i'm like leaving and he's like i need that camera and i was like okay i'm at, like i'm not giving you my pictures right at, at this point stunner is like ha ha bitch that's why i got y'all's mic and that's threw it on the ground we're like no that's from the office that's our mic <laughs> like we were we we were trying to figure out you know show business so we're like hey we gotta invest in some things so that when we start going to perform you got your own microphone or yeah. whatever it was funny though you were trying to that did what when your broke, friend broke, broke you saw you yeah, remember that I, I was like bro that's our fucking like, right out of a show all, he was like pissed it was funny and then and we're leaving i'm leaving they happened to park in the same parking lot where we were parked too and um and i just said hey i said i have one last picture left i said can we take a picture you want to be my last picture <laughs> hey. Ooh, th- that's how i knew shit was getting serious you <laughs> oh, could be my great. last photo on my on he my disposal cool. And so we took the picture no and then uh, and then I develop it. Oh, actually. And I also took a picture of his grill. I said, can I get a picture of your grill? So my last two pictures on this thing was, can I get a picture of your grill, the close up of your grill? <laughs> sure. Right. And then see Rob when Robbie like, so you never did Tinder. Nothing. Like, come on, dog. People want pictures of my grill. dog. <laughs> Fuck I, fuck I need tender for so then we took a picture and then that was it i never saw him again I, oh no we ex- we had already exchanged phone numbers and i was like yeah i don't know that this is a pretty my- much i knew i was like man this girl's special i always told him i said i wasn't ho enough for him does that make sense <laughs> I, I just knew i was on it you know like that what's that book the alchemist uh-huh. with the little boys on a journey yeah I was still on a journey. <laughs> the hero's Like journey. the alchemist. You were on the hero's And I was journey. like, you know what? I don't want to use some metaphor that's like, you throw the fish back in the... In the you know, I don't want to... That's, <laughs> that's not what he I, says, though. That's what he told me. He goes, I had to throw the fish back. All, all of like, them... You, you don't... Come on. All of them ain't for the Yaleta, bro. Some I'm going to be fishing to, later anyway. I might get you. Some need to be in the pond. It's <laughs> 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 a good fish. <laughs> we need this one in the ecosystem. I'm going to put you in the fish tank. I'm going to come back <laughs> for you. Because I knew she was a good girl. I just knew, like, man, this girl is something. Like, How did this, you know that? I just sensed it. I was like, yo, I feel a little chemistry. I was like, this this is one of those where it's like, I would try to make you my girlfriend. Define like, good girl, though. And I don't think he was ready for a girlfriend. Does that make this sense? Is like, this yeah, is like this prime is wifey. time, you know? This wifey. Oh, prime time. Right now, it's prime, prime time. It's prime, prime time. time. Before, on, before, before Alex Stein. Before, way before This is before, before Alex, Alex Stein was prime time. <laughs> prime time, Mighty Soul, and Shingo. Yeah. All right. So then we never spoke again. That was the last time. You say never. Well, how long? In between. We 11 years. We reunited. Wasn't that special of a night then? 
No, well, no, 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 no. It was just kind no, of I'm, like. See, how can I paint this picture? I'm no. getting it. I got the picture. Okay. No, no, no. It was just kind of one of those things like. No, it was very special. We're going to cross paths again. No, not even like that. It was kind of like. He thought so. I mean, I didn't. I, it wasn't like for sure, but it's just one of those where it's like, bro, you could just tell this girl has morals. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and I don't want that right now. Also, so I wasn't taking off my shirt on stage when he was telling girls to take their girl. That's probably. Boo, you're no fun. See you later. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See you in That's 10 years. <laughs> she, <laughs> she remembers more of my performances than I did, than I do. I must have blocked they, a lot of they those. They were memories. just ready to go up there and be rat. I was kind of sitting over here where they were also because I was with my friend who the was D a DJ. DJ yeah. So I was kind of more in the VIP section. So, but you can, you know, you know, it's just like I'm with the DJ kind of yeah. thing. You know how girls are just wanting like to go be a groupie, kind of like no, yeah. yeah, it was more like side stage ish type of type of vibe. But see, let me just try to paint a picture because Rob he he's misinterpreting. He's kind of like <laughs> he's kind of like oh, you were just on some like. This is a spiritual event. <laughs> two, two ships crossing in the night. Well, meanwhile, the reality is, show me your tits. <laughs> That's what you really wanted to say. I just didn't want to be disrespectful. You know what I mean? I was just kind of like, you know what? I feel like she looked into the windows of my soul. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm going to have to just chill a little bit. You know, uh, you just know, bro. So anyway, long story short, we reunited later through a mutual friend. So I, uh, somebody was making some screen, doing screen printing for me, and and I guess his girl knew you. Wife. Yeah, she knew me, and, and so, I was coming out of a relationship. Mm. Yeah, so when so when I happened to meet uh, the screen printer's uh, girl at the time, uh, I guess she told my soul like she's like, man, you remember you, you could take over. No, you she Bling calls back in the day? me in the middle of the night. I'm in bed already, and she goes, "I met your soulmate," and I was like what i was like no Ain't nobody got time for i don't that. exactly that's exactly what i said it's like past my bedtime i'm responsible i gotta get up for work you know i was like no i don't i, I don't want to be a grown-ass woman got my shit together and exactly and i was he's, she's like i said who and she goes chingle bing i said i already met him before i said so no and then he went to i was your lover and <laughs> she was like said, been there done that terrible. she was sacrificing i was saying, like paid no. off her student loans on her own <laughs> been independent she's the background of a music video she, <laughs> she wasn't yeah she wasn't no trust fund Slow it was like it was, yeah, it was like a 90s r&b video there you go there i you go. need a good girl so she was like come on i was like no nope. i was like all right i'll talk to you tomorrow i'm like i gotta go to bed she you had know? her hair wrapped up already <laughs> yeah my wig she's at her desk good. writing in her journal <laughs> at the end of the night i got a phone call today <laughs> <laughs> shit on my tears i sacrifice oh my gosh she kept insisting it i uh and then she, she was, was like, in a robe and sandals so then she said, <laughs> I was having a Zumba event and we wanted to go all out. So this was like the first time we had done a Zumba event inside of a club. But during the day, because I wanted to have one of the things that I noticed inside my class was a lot of the women came to my class because that was like their club. You see what I'm saying? Because they had the husbands that were jealous, didn't let them go out and do stuff. So this was their club. So I got the crazy idea of having a Zumba master class inside a club so we rented tropicana okay oh. during the day before they even opened so they were like so you want us to rent this to you during the day they're like i'd never heard of them. like yes it's for i said and i had to go explain they were like okay so they rented it to us right and so then my girlfriend's like why don't you ask chingo to be the dj i was like <laughs> i don't know about that and i was like i don't know she's like no i really think you should let me set up this business meeting for y'all. And I was like, business meeting. <laughs> I was like, hey, meanwhile, okay. meanwhile, I'm like single father, just came back from L.A. I, I, sac I, didn't know I that. sacrificed. Oh. I was coming back and forth for a year trying to make some shit happen after Philly Brown. My, my legendary performance, uh, highly complimented by Lou Diamond Phillips, award AKA, winning, a.k.a. Mr. Richie Valens himself. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I was like, yeah, let me take my ass back to Houston, man. I got a kid. I got family responsibilities this la shit you know it's not the right time and uh so i'm just like single dad trying to just kind of like be solo dolo like almost like um almost like not a one-man army because you know my sister my family has always oh been super supportive since the beginning like like sometimes i think about like 
the rare variables of of like so you have this crazy idea you know mm -hmm. ting, and it's like and you're from texas and you but you also have these skills like and you're bilingual and you have this influence and you have you found this person to manage you and like your sister happens to be highly talented in a bunch of stuff and your family's hard working and it's like that's what allowed me to become chingo bling so we're going to this business meeting was it the wing joint is with the wing plays uh, or was that second business that was meeting? Second, second one. The first one we met at Starbucks. The listeners are like, y'all need to fast forward to the yeah, third meeting. And listen, and he brought his, he brings his dad with him, and I'm just like, okay. Oh, I was at a Starbucks. A Starbucks. Oh, okay. So now I'm trying to give him the music that I want him to play at this event, right? And he's being fucking rude, and I'm just like, <laughs> fuck this guy. He was I don't, getting too complicated. I don't play that shit, right? And I was like, fuck him. I'm not asking him to do anything for free. I'm paying his ass. You know what I'm saying? So don't be rude to me. He's like, well, I couldn't get the music because yesterday was my niece's quinceanera, and they had to borrow my Wi-Fi. And I was like, <laughs> what? I was like, this is even getting more ghetto. I, I don't like, even remember. That. I was like. I was I so you, mad. I don't remember those. He's like, that Listen, didn't happen. I do, I do, because I remember being so mad when I left, and I called my girlfriend. Some of MP3, some of Wave. Yeah. They all out of order. It, exactly. That's exactly, that's exactly what he Songs said. Songs misspelled. Exactly. I'm too famous for this and shit. he's like, I'm your tits. <laughs> Walks away. <laughs> How you want me to DJ your party? You ain't even show me your titties. <laughs> I would have been nicer if you had. <laughs> I done met you two times and not and you, once. And you still coming in here with a covered up shirt. Not even, even a slip. I can't even see no cleavage. Nothing. She always in here with business attire. <laughs> you damn turtleneck. So then we sit there, we discuss, and I leave, right? And he's like, you know, done or whatever. And so I'm like, <laughs> I'm out of here, you know? And so I call my girlfriend and I was like, no, this is not going to work for me. She's like, oh my God. She kind of had the attitude of like, that's because you're this independent woman thing. Like you don't put up with shit. She felt like I was having that kind of and attitude. She was being I was too like, bossy. And I was like, uh, no, I was boss like, boss <laughs> my gosh, don't call you me. You were that. being one. I was like, do not say that. I was like, he is so unprofessional. I was like, it's not my fault. He didn't have Wi-Fi. I was like, he does not know like, how to write a proper email. I was like, I don't even, who doesn't have Wi-Fi? Who carries around Wi-Fi to different places? I'm like, I'm having this. <laughs> yeah, don't remember, what was it called? Yeah, it was a Wi-Fi card. No, was it called Clear? That little thing. We had, it just had a little USB thing. Oh, that was before. I, I don't, don't remember the name remember. of it, but it was like a, just a plan and it was portable. So you could be in your car. You could be in your apartment. You could take it to Starbucks. Mm. And, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, who who carries it was convenient. Wi-Fi? You know what I'm saying? So to me, it was kind of like, this is ridiculous, right? It was like a little mobile hotspot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I get go. over it. My girlfriend's like, all right, I talked to him. Like, you're, we're good. He's going to do it. And I'm like, I don't know why you keep insisting, Yaneth. I'm like, this is not, this doesn't need to be. Like, let's just, it is what it is, right? So she had a jamming party, tons of people. She, I did. she tipped me fat, and I was like, you know what? We need to stay And then in he touch. said, he I, said, not to tip oh, you so fat. when are you having the next one? I'm like, oh, now you want to know when the next when one is? When are you going to do the next one? Yeah. Because <laughs> you made, okay, you see, I don't and, play. And then my daughter was participating in the Zumba stuff. Mm -hmm. like, I, let, I was like, hey, would your daughter like to play? Oh, and then my, my mom kids? was front row oh, and then jumped on stage. Bling. I have pictures. I have pictures. Jumped on stage and did her Mama Bling thing. That's funny. Um, so yeah, I was being a little difficult because it was getting confusing. We're like, okay, you just got to tell me, give me the list. You don't know the order. It's like, well, you know, we don't know. It's because so we're, we're choreographing. That, we, don't, we don't talk anymore, right? Because we're done. That was it. It was just a business thing. We did exchange phone numbers for the future one, but I didn't call him and he didn't call me. Mm -hmm. Then now I'm going to... With, now your, I'm, with your business attire. <laughs> now I'm going to um, Aruba. I'm going on vacation to Aruba and I'm on the plane. And out of nowhere, I get a text from him and it says. <laughs> W-Y-D. W-Y-D? He said, gases. And I'm like, oh, my God. My heart's like. <laughs> he texts me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. He texts me. I was like. And the rest was history. Do I reply? Do I not reply? I'm like fuck this guy i'm not gonna reply i'm gonna let him wait and then i couldn't do it it so was, was romeo like, and juliet so I, I replied and i was like i'm on my way to aruba uh, and i was like home? he's like when do you yeah. get back i was like in a week he's like well, when you get back he's like hit <coughs> me up me. yeah and i was like all right cool hey you gotta call him groggy my g you gotta be like <clears throat> yeah hey good morning <laughs> <laughs> dragon breath and all <laughs> hey hey no i've been you know i've been thinking a lot about you you know maybe we should <laughs> it, it sounded like the 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 one part on a uh, boys boys to men 
No, yeah, they that homeboy talk. Yeah, yeah. You know, I just been thinking, you know, I like coffee, you like coffee. You know? <laughs> we got a Starbucks off Buffalo Speedway. Maybe we can, I don't know, get together. Cafecito time. Maybe don't bring your dad this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't wear business this time. <laughs> Why you always got your kid with you? I won't bring my dad if he show me your dance. <laughs> don't don't bring your Wi-Fi. Don't bring your Wi-Fi with you. Oh my God. So yeah. So yeah. Uh, she she met me at an interesting phase in my life, and I, I want to thank her for raising me. <laughs> Raising me all the way. It was interesting because we kind of played this back and forth thing at the beginning. Uh, it was kind of like, I don't know what we're doing, I guess. Because I'm talking. Cause, I don't know. Yeah, because just for a long time, I was this um, just off. What's the, what's the expression? Like off the cuff of my whatever. Like just a just an independent artist trying to be as creative as possible. Yeah. So you had been single how long whenever I met you? You had been single for a minute, right? If like I had to guess, I'd say years? about two years. If I had to guess. So you were just trailblazing the creative I mean, world. Even just in general, in general, it's like, you know, when, when you don't have a ton of responsibilities, I guess, but you, you're able to take more risks. You're younger, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you just got like Oh, I'm getting paid to do these things. I got this cash. I got to reinvest it. I'm gonna. We're gonna pull this stunt, do this marketing thing, and wrap that. Buy one of those and get the jewelry. You know what I mean? And um, so it was just that phase where it's like I'm burnt out on these promoters. Like I'm focusing on some of this merchandise, so I can be a lot more selective you know, with the gigs and everything. And um, just trying to figure out the next phase. Like, am I gonna pivot into acting? At that point, that's really around the time I started wanting to pivot into comedy. Mm -hmm. um, but hey, the rest is history. And in a nutshell, I know we left out a lot of details. That's really funny, dude. That sounds like the beginning of a sitcom. Like, you know, <clears throat> little... Poquito Bling coming to the CW, <laughs> <Dude>. Hispanic <laughs> Heritage Month. Something. I mean, the little Dicky show, Mo show. I feel like that's this. I mean, this was 20 minutes worth. Like, this story was 20 minutes. No, it's not done part. either. I, it's, yeah, it's, it gets funnier. Yeah. Yeah, it goes on. It goes and on now. And on. Now we're in his birthday. Now we're celebrating his birthday. Now we've been talking for a hot minute, okay? I still don't know what we are. I was just We're kind, kind of, of assuming in, we, we go he together. Assumed. Like, hey, you're coming, you're coming to the venue for my B day, and it's just like my sisters, me, you, pretty much, and y'all mm -hmm. setting up, and you're, you're the girl that's there with me, that's helping set up with my family. Mm -hmm. That means we go together. Yeah. <laughs> so let me tell together. you how how I had to find out that I was officially his girlfriend was um, this guy that was there. The I was bartender, just right? I think it was a bartender. Mm -hmm. I was just sitting there, kind of waiting. I don't know mm -hmm. where he went, and he goes. So are you his sister? I'm like, mm -mm. <laughs> he's like, are you Chingo's girlfriend? I was like, mm, mm -mm. it's like I'm his friend. <laughs> oh, okay. So now he's trying to give me his phone number. So now now I felt awkward. You know, I was like, no, no, wait a minute. Just because I said I'm his friend, I, mean, I don't know where what we are, but I'm not gonna disrespect him like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh yeah, no, like. I'm here with Chico, and he's like, "But you said he's not your boyfriend." I was like, "I know, but I'm still here with him." I'm working him. on it. I'm working yeah, I'm on it. Here with him. You know. So then we're leaving. She's like, "I showed a little ankle this time." <laughs> we're leaving, <laughs> and I told him, "I said, hey." So the guy at the bar asked me if I was your girlfriend. I said, "No." He turns around, and he's like, "What? You said no?" And I was like, "Yeah." The fuck you say no for? <laughs> and he goes, "I said, well, am I?" He goes. Well, I thought it was understood. What, understood? <laughs> I, I, what a dude thing to say. Hey, look, I went R&B voice. I was like, what's understood ain't got to be said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling you. You feeling me. I like caffeine. You like caffeine. And that's how we started dating, we guys. Say. Maybe Cafecito Time intro jingle needs to be R&B. Maybe. And it then, is our vibe. It's true. Baby, 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 baby. <laughs> The next album is R and B. The next single link album is R and B. Cafecito time. Cafecito time. And if y'all are wondering if this is what we do at home, yes. <laughs> and then the RPT uh, intro be like, because the TI is an army, but he at the navy. All right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The army and the navy. Yeah. So that's how we met, guys. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much more to that story, I'm sure, that like people would love to just see like visually. Like, well, that's why I thought it would be good for us to go and record this. Oh, that's right. That's what you that's said. That's kind of was. That's where I got the idea. I was like, we get this question asked all the time. I thought, why don't we? <laughs> we got to recreate it. We yeah. just recreate it, and he was like, okay, we can try it. You know, so now we're trying it, and it just kind of didn't. The angles of the camera, right? Because we were walking. I mean, we were driving and talking. So, so the, what we're going to have to do is cast actors and then take the audio of this show and use it as the back background. So they recreate on top. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And then every once in a while, you cut back to us here. Yeah. 
That'd be I funny. Know. That'd Maybe be even funny. a cartoon version would be funny. Uh, we need animators. 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 animators, animators. Yeah. 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 That'd be so At funny, least some though. South Park stick figures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not stick figures, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be someone on Fiverr that does those fucking illustration sketches. Yeah. yeah. So that's, like, uh, you know, that was it. What's another girl. question? Uh, we got a couple. Yeah, we got a couple more minutes left. So uh, qu- another question is, do both of y'all toke it up? <laughs> Come on, you, you know that's the feds. Because it's like you asking, you asking what understood ain't got to be said. We, we talking about laugh. CBD, of course. We talking about <laughs> CBD. <laughs> 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 uh, who are you, Lena Hidalgo? Who who's this trying to get me caught up? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna sip my coffee. She like don't you better not say my name. Say my name one more time. <laughs> uh, what was the other? She one? like say something else by midterm. Um. <laughs> Jumping between the discords. Her lounge started a conversation among themselves. So we're going to go back to the Red Pelt Tamales one. Uh, do you guys, how often do you guys annoy each other? <laughs> uh, I get on her nerves daily. I think, and it's not, listen, let me tell you what. I really think if we took the stress out of work, seriously, we ain't got no problem. it would be such a it'd be such a fake relationship because like there's no way y'all cannot there's no way y'all never fight because as individuals like as together we're like dope but then yeah. you put in stress of business and it's kind of like that's where the i mean you've witnessed right. some of the bickering rob when like, you, you you ain't seen son, the ticket count <laughs> or whatever it is you know but but i think that if there was none of that yeah like if that was i why you ain't holding up a sign on Las Vegas Boulevard? <laughs> <laughs> With the showgirls that got stabbed? Goddamn. <laughs> you better duct tape some magazines around your waist in case you get stabbed. Imagine how bad she would have felt. Dude, you should have been like, I was on the strip. <laughs> from passing out flyers. Oh he nicked me in the, in the hand. Mi manito. Yeah, mi manita. Ah, la manita otra vez. <laughs> Man. Hey, I, I did tell Rob that um, they paired me up with some newbies in uh, a 10th planet Las Vegas. And I had to apply pressure and basically do to them what, what people used to do to me. Uh-huh. Just have, like, you he know. He was so excited. I, I was like, I was able. I was, I'm, it's so I bad. I saw them huffing and puffing, like, <sighs> take it yeah. easy, man. Woody, how did you, how do you, how'd you. You're like a ninja. How'd yeah. you do that? <laughs> I'm hey, an old man. But when he tells me these things, I try my hardest not to act <laughs> like such a proud wife, like, a, like like someone does their kid. So I'm like, oh, that's what's up. And like, I, like when Brooklyn learns a new movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but technically, I'm like, oh my God, that's so awesome. I'm so happy that he's, you know, like learning this. But when he's telling me, I'm like, oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's okay. dope. So you yeah. swept him? What oh, kind okay. of sweep was yeah. it? Yeah, right. What'd you do, Z Guard? <laughs> Dude, last week the kids get here, they she jumps on me like rubber, and then goes right into a guillotine. She legit like locked it up. I was like, get off of me! What are you doing? That's awesome. It's hilarious. That's funny. Mm-hmm. I hope Penny. I can't wait till Penny. She's still so little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's four. She's, she's learning the basics. Four. She's yeah. learning the basics. I can't wait to where I actually see her. Like, even though even in class though, you still see her do shit. But you know, it's still like uh, the dr- the drilling and the discipline isn't all the way there because she's four. So it's mm-hmm. not like. Is she gonna nail a seatbelt always out the gate? But she's in there. She she attacks. She takes them down, and you know, it's just a couple little things. That and I've really up. tried to convince her to get out of one activity, and I didn't, I was like, okay. I, I was telling her that this morning. I was like, uh, you're gonna. I don't know what activity I'm taking you out of, and I was like, but you're gonna get out of one. And I, I think just, ballet is kind of like, what are y'all doing in there? It's like mm. kitty. It's they're called twinkle toes, and I just told him yesterday. I was like, I need to find a hip hop class, mm. even though she likes it. Didn't she like breakdancing or like when she was? I like, think she yeah, likes the far, idea. Yeah. I think she likes the idea of knowing that I, you know, that she put on a pink little leotard. What are they called? Yeah, called. I kind of like feel like uh, so they do have a Christmas program for them, but it's just to show you kind of like the basics that they learn. They're not allowed to participate in their like uh, Christmas recital. Does mm, that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just come out and do like a little like here let me show you what we did so you know you're paying all this money and all your and it's not that expensive because she's four it's just not at that that level to where i'm sure it's a little bit higher but i'm just like i'm getting bored of her going there like i'm just like i'll ask her what'd you learn today penny she's like this i'm like yeah they just kind of like i was like that's you i said you learned that last week she goes Mm-hmm. Like jump like, around, like what are y'all? Okay, no. At least like in gymnastics, there's always something new, a right? Skill. There's always a skill. Same thing with jujitsu. Same thing with swim. You know, right? Mm-hmm. So ballet right now, and I hate it because ballet is fundamental for any type of dancing. 
and it teaches you coordination. It teaches you, I mean, that's why some football players take it. It's teaching you coordination. It right. teaches you balance. It teaches you a lot of stuff, but I'm just, maybe it's the school. True. Yeah. Different place, different things. It's rated like one of the tops in ballet, so that's the reason why I chose it. So right? we, we went from Tok Bar to having a family. Her, yeah. her, her being my rib, and we're discussing ballet for the children. Yeah. Well, I guess let's segue back to this last question before we wrap up the podcast: Is what do each of you do that irks the other one's soul to the soul? So basically, the a, biggest pet peeve. A thing that I do that gets on her nerves. That to the soul, to the bone. Yeah. What's something that I do? Let's ask. Let me ask you that. Yeah, you start. I got to say, how about you think of what I you think? I think you know what mine is. My Mine is not being organized. Unorganized. Unorganized, okay. To yeah. the soul. She gets annoyed when I'm unorganized. Got it. Yeah, like, like, I, like, just, like, why did you lose that? I don't understand how you lost that if, like, you have a place for it. So it should go back to that place. Does mm. that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, there's nothing that... Damn, that's pretty good. That irks me. Nothing irks me about my wife. Oh, shut up. <laughs> He's such a shut That's my rib. What irks you is that she never showed you your tits as a, as a young couple. <laughs> <laughs> that's my rib, no, dog. That's what I think. But other than that, there's nothing else. Like, I mean, he helps around the house. so I, I got lucky. I, I can't, can't complain like, oh, you know, you live. I don't like when he says... I can't find blah blah blah, and I and in my head I'm thinking, why can't you find it? I've purchased several items for you to stay organized. There's no reason why you shouldn't, right? Right. And that's just it. But other than that, there's nothing. And he, trust me, in eight years that we have been together, he's actually improved because it was a lot worse when I, know I how first to learn. You know, when a, I first met him. I'm a him. slow learner on something. When I first met him, I, I told him this. I used to be like, oh my god. If he wants to go back to his house, I hope he does because it's like it was it was uh, I didn't know how to handle it because I'm not my brain doesn't think that way. Like I can't be everywhere because then I can't sleep. You know, I'm just one of those people. He, what is that? A a type or is that what that's uh, like? type A type, type A person? Yeah. Not extreme, but I'm like that with certain I like to be organized. I don't like to not know where something is, you know, especially when you need it. Um, So when I first met him, it was almost like oh my god you're like you know this is not gonna work for me i'm like this is driving me bananas but i was so anal and then it was like that's what type a stands for <laughs> exactly <laughs> and so i was so anal and then we so, i'm like you know there's got to be a way for him to learn to to be more organized and i just started train like, me like a like a bad pup, like a bad little <laughs> i like how she was like nothing nothing at all my soul is going on four minutes yeah just she's like about. and another thing and by the way and another when he tried to make little r&b songs and try to freestyle and be funny trying to butter me up no those are funny yeah when it's i like, mean i because i i will have do some it. children put our daughters in <laughs> ballet because we make up songs at home guys do you really Yes, yeah. we do. We should talk about that on uh, next week's episode. But one more, and then we'll expand on this because this one just came in. What's y'all's favorite? Just mention the movie, and then we can expand on it maybe next time. Salsa Legas. Your favorite movie of all time. Teen Witch. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, all man. Time? I hate to say that, That's it. a hard question, right? To narrow down yeah. to just one thing. Um, I mean, as a kid, man, I really enjoyed like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And that one's such a good one. one. That's, that's a classic, one. though. Yeah, that's Damn. Shit like that. Okay. That's Ferris your Bueller's. old time favorite it, That's such a hard question because there's like so many. But y'all grew up in an era with a lot of good movies. Let's be honest. Yeah. It's a not the same. Of, yeah. You know, yeah. America was America, Big Don. Yeah. You that's, know? That's Rock good, and roll. It was denim. so good. It yeah. was so good. There were so many. Expression. Like, yeah. I remember Freedom. even like, um, what was that movie I, I showed Mickey Babe when she was little? And I was like, oh my God, she's got to watch these classics. I think it was um, Pretty in Pink. Mm -hmm. there's some things that are not okay for she they went over her head anyway but mm -hmm. um i love those movies those were like classic like the breakfast club was like classic those were all the same director yeah was it mm -hmm. yeah they were just like the best movies he did he did home alone as well i think it's like john hughes i don't know who it is but yeah. they're just all great movies but teen witch is my ultimate favorite it's just i don't know what it is about that movie mm -hmm. i think i own it too Nice. In She's DVD, like, I have uh, disposable cameras of it. When I found it, literally, I called my aunts and I said, "I found Teen Witch, y'all," and we made it a movie night. And we all went over my aunt Maribel's house, and literally, we <laughs> all watched it in the living room. We were so excited. That's fine. as grown women. As grown. Chingo was right too, by the way. John Hughes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. You what saw, all, you saw which, the list. All the ones. What did he do? Let me all see. the good ones. 
uh, where's the, oh, right the breakfast club there it is pretty in pink there it is <gasps> he did weird science too i loved weird science as and well uncle buck most of these two, oh uncle buck that's where macaulay Culkin started most of these planes took, trains and uh, go ahead yeah, yeah most of these took place in chicago and uh that's why um it never fails bro every time i'm in chicago i i just get i reminisce some of this type of shit oh he did curly sue curly sue was good too i like that movie Oh, oh wow. man, he did a lot yeah. of movies, Home babe. Alone. I didn't know 101 that. 101 Dalmatians, Flubber. I what? didn't know. I didn't know that. Mr. Mom, who's that one with? Uh, is that um, it's the Rest in Peace. Mm. Oh, Mr. Mom, sorry, I couldn't see it. Yes, yeah, Rest in Peace. That's the. No, who? who Michael did? Keaton. Oh, is that who was in it? No. I don't remember that one. You're talking about Miss Doubtfire. Is yeah, that what you're I'm talking tripping, about? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm tripping. Oh, Robin Williams? Yeah. That's that's what you're you're thinking. I had no idea he did all those movies. Wow. Holy shit. He did Beethoven. He's got a resume. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Wow. See, these were this is when movies were movies, man. Well, you know, yeah, man, America, um, think about like whatever category. Um, musically, there was a lot of stuff happening. Film, a lot of stuff happening. Fashion, a lot of stuff happening. Um uh, comedy. You had some pretty Pretty groundbreaking stuff, you know. Yeah. Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy. Who could forget this groundbreaking movie, though? What is it? Made in Manhattan. <laughs> Which one? What did he do with? What with did he have J-Lo? to do with that one? He's he director. Did, he really? Did, he did Made in Manhattan. Really? Really? I mean, really? that was a cute movie. It, it was. I was you sure. Where does it say at the bottom, bro? Made in Manhattan. Uh, production produced by. What did he do? Jo- writer. Oh, he's a writer. On okay, that one. Mm. he wrote the story. See, he does. He does all types of shit. Wow. But anyway, good episode, guys. Yeah. This is cool. For shiggity. Well, those were good questions. Yeah. Uh, so you guys want to uh, go ahead and tease them with a voicemail? We'll get a number and have them. You'll post it on your social media. Do you have the phone number? I don't because okay. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't set it up. I have too many Google voice numbers. Okay. So I will, I'll have, yeah, I'll have one of you guys. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put a phone number out there so y'all can call in, leave a message. Mm-hmm. and um, We'll play it on the podcast. Yeah. We'll give you either the advice or the answer or whatever. And it doesn't matter what it is. Even if you want to call and talk shit. Or so leave a comment sh- leave leave it and we're gonna touch it right back boo boo but like first of all first of all you don't want to fuck with the uh, blings first of all you do not want to fuck with the blings you know your beard we crooked. got comebacks tell yeah. them bro yeah. yeah we cut from the same cloth when it comes to hood, Y'all don't hood even know. type of shit hood shit me and Chingo Y'all will check a, a motherfucking bitch. Next episode, apartment. next episode, I'll tell See, y'all. See, now, now you're making me cuss thinking oh, about how we're going to be hyped okay. up. Okay, next episode, here, we're going to end it like this. Addison Improv, November 4th through the 6th. Next episode, I'm going to tell y'all how Jamie Kennedy canceled. Uh, he, he couldn't make an event. I was a replacement. Some lady was talking shit, and Mighty Swan almost whooped her ass in the lobby. <laughs> in, her, in the lobby of the country she was club. Baby about, was talking shit about my baby, and ain't nobody talking shit about my baby. I will whoop your motherfucking ass. And know it. Look at the camera and, bleep, and look at me. Bleep that out, and on the next episode, we're going to tell y'all that story. Subscribe to the YouTube. Cafecito time. Uh, tell a friend. Catch it every Tuesday. Every iTunes, Tuesday. Spotify, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, it'll be on Facebook Tuesdays. All right, so we then. Bye. See ya.